So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video. So today we are going to discuss about Oman. So as a lab technician, how you can migrate there. So today we have we have very special guest, Aju Krishnan here. So he is working there for the past several years in Oman. So lab technician, he is basically an Indian citizen from Kerala. So we will uh, learn from his journey and he will ask a lot of questions about A to Z basically. If you are a lab technician and you are looking to migrate to Oman or any other GCC country, so easily you can migrate. Hi Aju, thank you so much for your time. Hi sir, hi. How are you sir? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, fine sir. How are you? Can you please give us your brief introduction yourself? Hi, I am Aju Krishnan. I am basically from Kerala. I have completed a diploma in MLT and a BSc in Biochemistry. Uh, I had an experience of six to seven years in India in a multi-specialty hospital. From there, I uh, tried to come to GCC after completing the procedures and everything. Now I settled here around one year. Uh, it is good to be here and try to do more things, uh, go to other countries and like that. But now it is okay here. I am trying to get settled here. Okay, so Vaju, can you please give us a little bit about what, what the eligibility criteria someone want to migrate uh, to Oman? Okay, basically, we have, we have to get a um, certificate course like uh, we have to complete one government course of diploma in MNC, medical lab technician. It is a basic course with having two years of uh, that syllabus and everything. Uh, after that, we have to get a minimum experience of two years in a reputed company. Uh, then only we can apply uh, for Oman. So uh, Oman, what is the name? This is, this is a prometric exam for lab technician? Yeah, it is prometry, prometry exam uh, needed in Oman. So basically, you are, are, if you are a diploma, DMLT, or do you, you did your BMLT or BSc MLT, or you have plus you have two year experience, you are eligible to write this Oman prometric exam. So this is a, I think this is an online exam they can give in, in India or, uh, or yeah the... first of all first of all we have to complete an uh, MCQ multiple choice question that is regarding our lab and everything it will only basically it is uh, only our subject oriented uh, it will be a hundred question MCQ having one and a half hours of online. After that, uh, within 10 to 15 minutes, we will get the results that we are passed or not, or not with the scores that we have scored uh, in that exam. So once they pass this MCQ-based exam, so this exam in India, there is there any, any center? They have to go to center and sit in the exam? Lot of centers are uh, available in India for uh, practically. Uh, some are very good, some are bad. So we have to select by uh, the people that are passing, uh, passing this exam. We have to take a reference from them also. Yeah. So there are so many centers in India, but if you know anyone already passed the exam, so you can uh, go with them. So, you know, it's like reliable because they already did. So they have some experience. They can guide you nicely. So this is the online exam, uh, prometric exam. So you can pass from India. And once they pass this exam, also what is the fee for this exam? Yes, by the way. Uh, it's around 22,000. It will change accordingly, but uh, that uh, price in India will change now. Uh, uh, it is come under Oman real actually. Yeah, so I, I thought we can say like, yeah. So you can say like 22 to 25,000 Indian rupees because the currency yes. is a little bit higher or lower sometimes, you know. Okay. Yes. Around 22,000 it will have. It will be around for the exam. Okay. After so once, passing exam. Yeah. Once they uh, pass the exam, so what is the ne next process? For job, finding yeah, a job. We have to go for data flow. Okay. Data flow is basically where we have to submit our uh, certificate, like SSLC plus two. So, uh, uh, and, uh, Aju, can you uh, actually yeah. first they have to go for this MCQ based exam or first they have to go for data flow? We can uh, go for if we have already uh, some job facility that they are uh, interviewing you directly. Then we can directly go for data flow. And then we can go for, because data flow will take around 45 days. Yes, yes. Basically, first you have to go for the data flow is like nothing, but they will check your document or your experience, you know. Then they will let you know that you are eligible to sit in the exam, you know. So once they pass this exam, how they can find a job in Oman? 
Yeah, after exam passing, uh, we can directly go for online, like bring them and everything we have. Uh, we can test in there also. Or specifically, there are agents are available also. They will direct you to the uh, the center. Uh, but it is better go with uh, some guys that are already working in online. Uh, get a reference from there. Uh, that better, which is the hospital that doing better here, which are uh, getting much salary here. So we have to contact some person here that is already working in online. After that only we can uh, go for uh, the interview and everything here. It is better that we will go for someone working in Oman, already working in Oman, that nurse or pharmacist, radiologist, or uh, even like even every, everyone can help you here. Everyone is helping you. So basically, once you pass the exam, so if you don't know anyone, so you can find them on any social media, such as like LinkedIn, you know. So if you can, if anyone already working in Oman, you can ask them, you know, so they may help you. So once you got, so it, uh, so the, the so it, it means that they have to find a job online, then they can go Oman. Or is there any way like they can go for like a, any, any uh, short term visa, like three month visa? Or like visitor visa or something, they can go and find a job on Oman. Any Oman, they, they provide any visa? Yeah, visiting visa is also here. But um, that's what the problem is. For getting visiting visa, we have to, uh, we, some people should be here. Only a sponsor can sponsor your visiting visa from here. Oh, okay. So, so we have to uh, contact with some people here. Okay, after that, they will uh, apply for your visiting visa. Then only the ministry gives the approval for the visiting visa for two months period, and it can be ex extended to one month, uh, total of three months. We can stay in Oman and we can search for job. Okay. But so, visiting visa, there are rules that are different. We can't work during the visiting visa process. Only we can come here and we are, like a tourist, we can go here and there, and we can also enter the interview and everything. After that, we have to go to in, uh, back to India. And change your visa and come back to turn back to so, so. so basically very simple. Once you pass this exam, so you can find some person in Oman. He's working any any healthcare professional. So he may sponsor your uh, this tourist visa. So once you got tourist visa, you can go there and find a job and a sponsor. Then you have to come back to India. Then he will give you a work visa. Then you can go back again. I'm right, Aju. And one another one another visa is also there. Because in Oman, there is another procedure. After completing formality, we have to complete the VIVA process also. There is a VIVA exam also. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, that is uh, done by the ministry itself, the government people. Uh, so during that period, it will take around two to three months after passing the formality and everything. So that time, some company will give you two months visa that you can come to Oman and directly attend the VIVA here. But due to this COVID and everything, they have now they are not giving that visa right now. Only mm -hmm. we can uh, do it on online. Uh, they will arrange an online exam. After completing that, the visa process will start. After getting visa, you can come to Oman. Previously, they are sending two months visa that we can come directly to Oman and attend the VIVA directly to the ministry. After that, we can uh, work here the previous. Uh, okay. So, you know, this guys, you know, once you pass parametric exam, again, you need to attend an interview, you know, so you have to find a sponsor, someone has to sponsor your visa, maybe two months, three months, you know, so you have to go there again in Oman and you have to attend the interview. Once you clear the interview, then they may offer you a long term visa, maybe two year or three year or something. Yeah, two year visa, they will be. Okay. Two year visa. Okay. Okay. So, what, do you, uh, what is the normal uh, salary in Oman, uh, in, in Indian rupees, or if you can, if you have any idea? Yeah, actually, it basically comes with the experience. It is a minimum of two years of experience, you will get around 350 to 400 Oman Ria. That around, I think, uh, it's around 1 lakh, something like that. The maximum of 1 lakh, 20,000 like that, we will be yeah. there. Yeah. And um, if you have more experience and you are more qualified, the salary will go up to 500, 550 like that. That basically up to the firm that you are going, they will uh, make that salary and everything. Like, so I can say like, 
minimum salary will be 1 lakh to 2 lakh in between is based on your uh, diploma you have master degree bachelor degree on how many years you have experience you know and also depend on your how you perform in interview you know and your negotiation yeah, with, yes, the, yes. The with the with yes, the employer yes and uh, there is also one um, um, one position is like like phlebotomy it will get around 70 to 1 lakh like that it is so so for the, for the, this phlebotomist uh, while also they need to pass the same uh, lab technician exam same same criteria we have to go to same to same criteria we have to go to it basically with the experience and the form you are going they will appoint you to as phlebotomy or lab technician or technology like that they will or senior lab technology they like that they will divide and after that only we will get the salary details and everything Yes. Okay. So we also basically help in academically if you want to migrate to Australia. So as a lab technician, if you have a bachelor degrees, you are a B.Sc. M.L.T. or M.Sc. L.T. or you are a like a uh, not D.M. Diploma is not eligible here. But if you did your B.Sc. plus diploma and you have several years of experience, in that case, you still can eligible. But if you are just DMLT, uh, then you are not eligible. But if you have bachelor degree, then you are eligible. Uh, plus, two year experience also need for Australia. So Australia is a good country if you want to migrate because the salary is very high here. And this is like they give you permanent visa, basically PR visa, then citizenship, and lot of other advantage. I, I already make several videos regarding this. So today we are just focusing on the this uh, Oman. So, Aju, in the last, if if you can give any any single person is coming single, so how much he can save? Like if he is getting like one lakh or one ton of one point two lakh is earning, so how much the uh, uh, expenses in Oman? Um, expenses like uh, expenses there, but uh, we are we have to adjust with the um, environment, and then we can save. But like half or half above half, we can save like that. No, uh, not in the family. It's like single. I mean, more, yeah, mostly those are single. Like they that. are living basically like four or five people in the, in the same apartment, yes, something yes, like, like that. that. They yes, can share. Also like that. There is, there is. Some some form will give you free accommodation. Okay. Uh, so the accommodation charge will be not there. Some people they will take a little amount for the accommodation. It will be a shared room and everything. Uh, but if we are willing to adjust with every environment here, we can save it. Actually, it is not like uh, it is good here. We can adjust with everything with two or three months. We will adjust with everything, and it will be okay. Yeah, we can. Uh, so basically, uh, some hospital or your employer also can give you a free accommodation, or maybe he may charge us some money. You know, so they also. Is, is there any other advantage in working in Oman, like a ticket they are given, or something? If when we are going to back to India. No, actually, it is not like a uh, like uh, yeah, we are doing our job here. Only we get experience, international experience will be there. Yes, uh, we can uh, communicate with different people here. There are so many other country people who are working with us. Only not India, a lot of other country like Egyptians are there, Pakistanis are there. Lot of lot of people are there. We can communicate with each and everyone. Yes. So we will get the knowledge that how we can interact with other people also, and our knowledge also will increase. It is good here. We can get improved. We will get improved. Yes. So I think if you are looking to migrate to Gulf countries, Oman also one of the good country. You can think about it. And uh, I can say this is a very it's like a multicultural country. You know, some different different country people are working. Especially when you are working there, so you have to communicate with several doctors, lab technician, pharmacist, or nurses. So maybe they are from Egypt or Pakistan, maybe from different different countries. You know, so you will learn a lot of things. So this is like international exposure for you. Then later on, you can migrate to Australia, Canada, or any other country wherever you want. So to this, uh, I think I do. Thank you so much. At the end, if you want to say something to our uh, viewers, if they want to migrate to Oman, in the at the end. Yeah, there are a lot of opportunities that are available right now for the lab technician. Uh, but the process is too much harder uh, than other GPC because we have to complete that promotory exam and we have to go for viva. But in other GPC countries, it is not like that. We have only to do that exam only, that MCQ yes. question. 
but when it come to oman it is like we have to complete the viva process also a little bit hard but if we complete the viva process and if we are willing to work in oman it is good actually we will uh, it will make you more feel safer here it is good here actually climate and everything also it is good here so are you just la- my last question many people many student i'll ask one comment once we can we pass the exam once we pass the exam can we there is a guaranteed can we get a job or not you know if so there is a, enough jobs available or do you think yeah that's up to your uh, that you interview and everything you know uh, first of all if you are a, directly come by under any company or like that like a uh, lot of hospital having um, their branches here in oman also if you are come coming under them then it is fixed that you will get the job if you are coming under some agent or something like that so we have to if you get a job detail and everything you have to go for other people that working your man that is it this liable or not after only after you have to pay the money and everything uh, but first you have to confirm that the given details and everything is basically true yeah but i can then say that once you pass the exam definitely you can get uh, opportunity yeah, there, there, there is there is there are law law so is there but Not there is a always course. risk you know wherever you want to go in any country in the world the risk is there you know but i can say you know most of people are going and they are living and working you know so there is no uh, something like there is no risk no gain basically so you have to take risk yeah, if yeah. you want to work yeah. even in australia yeah. there are so this there is no guarantee same for oman same for dubai there is no 100% yes, every country is like that Yes, but once you pass the exam, you already complete like ninety percent your hurdles. So you're just getting, yeah. a, you're just looking a job only. So definitely, I can yeah. say you will get job definitely once you pass the exam. Yeah, yeah, definitely you will get job after completing the viva process. You will get yeah. your license in Oman also. Then you can work here uh, with no no issues. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Ajo. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.